let us discuss the common causes of medial foot pain and the related sononatomy. Common causes are plantar fasciitis, second cause master knot of Henry intersection syndrome or it can be a case of Baxter nerve neuropathy. So plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciopathy, it is most prevalent between 40 to 60 years of age and it accounts for around 50% of all foot injuries in general population and it is nearly 8% of all running injuries. Plantar fascia thickness under ultrasound more than 4 mm is suggestive of plantar fasciopathy. So let us see plantar fascia under ultrasound in an asymptomatic volunteer. Here we can see the calcaneum bone, the bone of calcaneum here and we can see the plantar fascia here. So this is the plantar fascia. We will see the width of the plantar fascia. We will measure the width of the plantar fascia in this position. This is the brevis muscle. This is the brevis muscle. And this is the hill fat pad. This is the hill fat pad. Under ultrasound, what we will see, we will see flexor hallucis longus tendon sheet effusion and flexor hallucis uh, longus tendon, there can be a tear or tendinosis also. Any associated ganglion cyst around the tendon can be seen. Soft tissue edema at the knot of Henry is also possible. So what is the master knot of Henry? It is the area where the two tendons, one is flexor hallucis longus and another is flexor digitorum longus that overlaps. That area is called as knot of Henry. Let us locate the Henry's knot on an asymptomatic volunteer. So you can see here, this is the short axis uh, orientation. We have putting the uh, probe linear probe and you can see there are two tendons here. One tendon is this one and another tendon is this one. So gradually this is the flexor hallucis tendon. So uh, when I am going distally, this is the hallux tendon. So this is moving. When I am going distally over the foot, then you can see this tendon, these overlying tendon. This is coming from this side to this left side to right side. That is, it is traversing, traversing from the medial side to lateral side. Here again, I am going proximally. So it has gone deeper as I will come again from uh, uh, proximal to distal. So this flexor hallucis longus will come, become superficial and this tendon, this flexor digitorum longus will gradually traverse over the flexor hallucis longus. Let us see again. Try to locate these two tendons. So this, this is coming. So this black one, this hypoechoic structure, this is the flexor hallucis longus tendon, whereas this portion is the flexor digitorum longus. So gradually flexor digitorum longus has come over it. Flex, these are flexor digitorum longus. So now with movement, you can see. Now this is a long axis view. So in long axis view, this is a flexor hallucis longus tendon. So you can see the direction, you can see the cadaveric picture also. So you can see that now the direction of the probe where we can find the flexor digitorum longus tendon and flexor hallucis longus tendon is just below. It is just below. Now we are seeing the flexor digitorum longus tendon. So when we will again change the direction of the, so this is the direction of the probe is changed so that we can see the flexor hallucis longus again. So in this area, flexor hallucis longus lies deeper and superficially it is the flexor uh, digitorum longus, okay? So this is the area. Here it is the flexor hallucis longus and just above it, it is the flexor digitorum longus. So this is the area of flag master knot of Henry. So if there is a tendinitis, there will be 
a fluid around the tendon. Now the Baxter's neuropathy. What is the Baxter's neuropathy? So this is the first branch of the lateral plantar nerve. So this nerve can be entrapped. So here we can see the posterior tibial nerve. It is becoming the medial plantar nerve, lateral plantar nerve and first branch of lateral plantar nerve. So this is called the Baxter. High frequency linear probe is needed to locate this Baxter's nerve. It can be entrapped in this area. Here, let us locate the Baxter's nerve by ultrasound. Now, the ultrasound probe is held over the medial malleolus. Now, this side is medial side, medial malleolus, and this side is heel side. This side is heel side. So, what we are seeing, seeing here, so we know that this is the tibial is posterior and this is the uh, flexor digitorum longus tendon. And then comes the flexor hallucis will be here and between them, this is the area for neurovascular bundle. So what we are seeing is actually the posterior tibia. This is the artery and vein and then this is the posterior tibial nerve. So from posterior tibial nerve in this area, only uh, two nerves will come out. That is medial plantar nerve and lateral plantar nerve. Medial plantar nerve will be there in the medial side, will be located in the medial side. And plant lateral plantar nerve will go a bit laterally. From the lateral plantar nerve, another nerve will come out. That is the Baxter nerve. So let us try to locate the Baxter nerve. Now we are going uh, gradually distally. So you can see one nerve has come out here. One nerve is going this side. So this is medial and this is the lateral plantar nerve. Here we will see one nerve is coming out. So here, this nerve is coming out from this nerve. Now as I go proximally and distally, you will see both this. This is one nerve and this is one nerve. So it is going proximally and distally. It comes out and goes in, comes out and goes in. So these are the, this is the Baxter's nerve. So when I'm going a bit more distally, you can see the Baxter nerve here. We can see the Baxter nerve here. And this is the Baxter nerve. Sometimes this is a bit difficult to see, but sometimes it is a clear honeycomb appearance. So this is uh, because the, this is, this has a curvy course. So you cannot see every time here. So this is the Baxter nerve again going and joining with the lateral plantar nerve. So this is the Baxter nerve going and joining with the lateral plantar nerve if I go proximally. So it is again going here and ultimately joining to the lateral plantar nerve and becoming the posterior tibial nerve. I have another video. So this is just to show you that Baxter nerve is also accompanied by vessel and sometimes we can see. So this is the nerve. This is the nerve and here a vessel can be seen under Doppler but always it cannot be seen you can identify sometimes pulsating vessel, but it doesn't take color every time. But here it is taking so. Join Asian Pain Academy to learn musculoskeletal ultrasound in depth and become more confident while doing the ultrasound guided pain procedures.